Welcome back to the On This Day podcast. It's your host, Alex, and today we're talking money. A lot of money. Like an unbelievable amount of it. Because on this day in 2013, Welsh soccer player Gareth Bale was transferred from Tottenham Hotspur to Real Madrid for a world record fee of 108 million euros. This broke the previous world record transfer fee of 94 million euros set by Cristiano Ronaldo in 2009. Wait, hold up. What even is a transfer fee? Well, I'm glad you asked. A transfer fee is similar to a trade, but instead of giving away players or draft picks, the receiving club gives away money. Now, the actual amount of money is determined by a bunch of different factors, including perceived quality of the player, current contract length, commercial value, potential worth, etc., etc. Now, clearly, if Gareth Bale was transferred for a fee of 100.8 million euros, he was worth a lot. And he was. Now, to understand why Bale was worth so much, we have to go back to the beginning of his playing career, starting back in 2006. At the young age of 16, Bale began his professional career at Southampton, playing left back and earning acclaim as a free kick specialist. Although he was good here, it wasn't until he was transferred to Tottenham Hotspur the next year that he really gained international prominence. Within three years, he became an integral part of the team, and in two more, he became a star. From 2011 to 2013, Bale racked up awards, winning the PFA's Players Player of the Year award twice, PFA Young Player of the Year, FWA Footballer of the Year, Premier League Player of the 2013 season, and PFA Team of the Year three times. And he did all that before even turning 25. What have you done with your life? But despite all the accolades, Bale was transferred to Real Madrid in 2013 for an undisclosed fee. Bale's actual transfer fee was widely disputed at the time, with the Spanish press reporting that Bale had cost 91 million euros, while the British press was reporting a transfer fee of 100 million euros. And for over three years, his actual transfer fee was never confirmed. But in January 2016, documents pertaining to the transfer were leaked, confirming a world record transfer fee of 100.8 million euros. And for a while, it really looked like Bale was worth that money. In his first year with the team, he helped the club win the 2013 Copa del Rey and the UEFA Champions League. The very next year, the club won the UEFA Super Cup and the UEFA Champions League again. For a while, Bale was undoubtedly soccer's third best player. But since then, things have sort of fallen apart between Bale and Real Madrid. Despite being healthy, Bale hasn't played a single minute during the 2020 season and has told the club that he didn't want to travel with them to their game versus Man City. The club is now trying to sell him for 175 million euros, but have found no buyers. So let this be a life lesson. Be careful before making any big purchases, especially if it costs 100 million euros. But what's done is done, and nothing can change the fact that on this day in 2013, Gareth Bale was sold for a world record transfer fee of 100.8 million euros. So that's what happened on this day. Thanks for listening, everybody. If you enjoyed that, download, write a comment, send me some money. I won't complain. Um, Do all that fun podcast stuff. I really thank you guys for listening, for your support, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.